Hey Wastelanders, this is Gary from The Last Ranger and today we're going to get a look at the Basculus by Dam Designs. It's a, another one of their uh, budget offerings at $55. This particular version of this knife is based on the Cerebus, Cer I think that's how you pronounce it, Cerebus body styling that they released the previous four knives. At first, I thought that it was the Invictus, but you can tell the Invictus is just a little bit different. And I remember reviewing the Cerebus, and I, I think the Cerebus had better or ergos. This knife has better ergos than the Invictus, so there you go. But uh, I like this, uh, the ergos of this hump better than the Invictus. I, and I like the Invictus, but this, uh, this is better ergos. So, I believe this new version the, of the blade was introduced at Blade 2021 Blade Show West. And the color of white and you should have seen a video that um, of the banshee was black black and white was probably only available at blade show west so you can't get the black and white one to my knowledge right now maybe in a future release they'll offer a black and white or maybe they're offering it on amazon but far as I know you can't get the black and white one right now you can only get the jade and tan and titanium so that's all I know go over some specs of the knife Am designs went with 14 C 28 in steel this time rather than D2 and I'm glad he did that this is a drop point with a gray stone wash blade. Flat grind, almost full flat, flat grind. Tab flipper. It's real, real drop shutty. Not as drop shutty as the Banshee that I had before, but that may be, that may be because of lack of oil or being dirty actually it comes with a liner lock cage ball bearings and a deep carry clip so you see the deep carry clip is a little bit different than uh, the the banshee I don't have I didn't have to tie a lanyard in you can't can tie a lanyard but I didn't have to tie a lanyard because I could reach in my pocket easily and get this, retrieve the knife. If I was to keep it, I would probably add a lanyard to it. But it doesn't necessarily need a lanyard. Let's see how it locks up. It locks up about maybe 30%. Centered. Let's, uh compare it to some other knives that I have here this is the Spyderco para 3 that I'm going to compare it to so you can see this is a sort of an off-white because this is a pure white I'm going to compare it to the Kaiser Inion because the Kaiser Inion is a large size blade or large size knife and lastly I'm going to compare it to the QSP Hawk so let's go over some size and weights of the knife and uh, I'll go over it anyway but it's exactly the same as the Banshee with a just a little bit difference 
So the blade is 3.3 and a quarter inches. The handle is four and a th uh, three quarters inches. The overall is eight inches. The handle thickness is 0.54 or 13.9 millimeters. The blade thickness is 0.16 or 4.1 millimeters. And the edge thickness is 0.02. So it's, it's just a hair thinner than the Banshee or 0.69 millimeters. But the weight was exactly the same as the Banshee, 5.61 ounces or 159 grams. So it's, it's, it's just like a clone of the Banshee with a, a different handle shape and a different blade shape. Well, looking at the site, as I said, it only comes in jade or tan and titanium and they are available for pre-order right now also from the website it appears the jimping is differently it's more i don't know a coarser i don't know if that's the word for it. it it's raised and it looks like that has less jimpings jimps available also there's uh some like milled lines at the top and the milled lines at the bottom so i'm i'm sure he he didn't redesign the uh, size of the knife or the scales just the milling i remember liking the cerebus so if you like the cerebus and you like a different blade shape i say check it out you can see my review of the cerebus right here I encourage you guys to check it out. I probably did a more in-depth review of the Cerebus because I see this is the Cerebus with a different blade shape. So there's this bit review is going to be cut short. Again, I got this from the Apex Pass Around, also the Banshee. By mistake, I, I, I didn't intend to review the, the Banshee or the this blade, the Basculus, but I got this knife, so I felt I should show you guys. I, I was questioning showing you guys because, for one, I couldn't find a black or a white available, so maybe it will be released later i don't know take care wastelanders